Uh, welcome back. Just finishing a conversation <laughs> with my friend here. With the few moments we have left in the show, uh, we wanted to get you a few more headlines and to, uh, some trades to go with them. Time for three stock lunch. Our trader is Victoria Green, contributor at CNBC, CIO, G Squared Private Wealth. We begin with Ford shares heading downhill, downgraded by Morgan Stanley. It cites Chinese competition and tentative U.S. consumers. Is there a Ford in your future, Victoria? No, it's a sell. I'm sorry. They just can't get it together. I also think it's a fundamental shift against legacy automakers from Detroit. They're just losing ground. They're trying with their skunk works to compete, and they do talk about their benching to BYD for a cheap EV, but nobody in the U.S. has been able to make a $30,000 EV and be profitable. For me, Ford has nothing beyond the F-150, and they can't just rely on that. Pro may slow down. For me, it's a sell. I could see it hitting 970 and going lower. Ouch, ouch. That would be about 70 cents down from where it is now. What about KB Home? This is part of a winning category, but it's on the decline after they missed profit forecasts with those interest rate concerns and kind of the economy's direction in general. It's down more than five, about 5 percent today, Victoria. What do you do with it? I'm buying the dip. They have really strong up-channel support here up and through 74. There's 50-day moving averages holding here. I could see this stock continue to push higher, potentially in the 95 to 100 by year end. Mortgage rates coming down. 49% of their buyers are first-time home buyers. That's a huge market for them to play in. They actually had a very upbeat and optimistic 2025 forecast. I think margin missed because of discounting. They talked about softness in June and July. August improved trends. We could see Q3 be much stronger. I'm going to buy the dip here. I'll buy it and ride it to 100. All right, and finally, we got your DoorDash. Shares are higher today on an analyst upgrade. KeyBank tags the stock overweight. In this case, I guess that's a compliment, citing ongoing gains in food and grocery delivery. Your trade, Victoria, on the Dash. It's a hold for me. I love this stock, but it's hard to buy here. It's super expensive. I own it. I want to hold it. I think they have such a diversified revenue stream. They actually just announced a new merchant platform coming out today, trying to get more and more merchants in beyond restaurants. So they're looking at grocery. They're looking at retail. They want you to go pick up the dog food and get it delivered to your door. They're much more of a pure play in the retail delivery. And I'm not going to deny, we are all getting lazier, and we absolutely love things being delivered directly to our doorstep via one click. DoorDash is great at that interface. For me, this is a hold. It's just really hard to buy and start buying here at this level. Don't let Jillian Michaels no, yeah, hear Jillian that, Jillian Michaels, Victoria. Are lazy. we're lazy. We <laughs> want our processed foods delivered without having to get off the couch. Bring it on. Oh, oh my. I know. It's the yin and yang of life, right? You got to have a little health and then a little bit of maybe, you know, a uh, Whataburger. Yeah. We had a guest on earlier who uh, thinks uh, the S&P may correct down to 5,000. You agree, disagree? Quick. I disagree. I think it's 58, 6,000, not going down to five. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate